What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. We just got done having one hell of a snowstorm. When I say one hell of a snowstorm, I believe there was over 30 inches, something like that. Insanity, pure insanity. So, you know, I waited and I waited and I waited. I didn't want to drive this beautiful track hawk too much into that. But then of course, for whatever reason, I had to go out today and I got a couple things changed on the, on the Jeep and um, I got destroyed by horrible roads, salty nonsense, and, and gross. So um, I'm just doing a quick video here. I'm gonna start doing these more often where I just start messing around with products. Um, whether or not I'm following exact manufacturer um, recommendations or if I'm following how everybody thinks this thing should be used or how everybody thinks things should be done or this is too bad for that condition. Again, it's my vehicle, my paint. My vehicle, my body, my choice. <laughs> so I'm gonna do whatever I gotta do. So let me just show you the assess the damage here. I mean, it's it's uh, it's disgusting. It's really, really probably. Uh, well, I wouldn't even say it's as bad as it's been ever. But like over here, it's like shot, shot, like really bad. Um, so I've been messing around. Lately, with uh, Ethos Car Care, and this is like, this is great. Um, the back, I can give you guys a glimpse here. We messed around and uh, started changing a couple things up. The back's not as bad because I, I wiped that off when I first got home. So the back's not going to be an issue. Uh, the roof, roof is on fire. Um, I'm just going to come around. For whatever reason, the driver's side is not as bad. I mean, you still have some... Uh, you know, caked up salties, salt crusties around, but it's not bad. It's not horrible. The hood definitely needs a good shellacking and the front window, of course. So I've been wanting to test out new products more and do more detailing related content. Excuse the garage. I've been uh, stacking up on detailing related content and content in general, lots of things to make content and I'm definitely screwed up here right now because I'm in the process of getting my old wheels back on. I'm selling these wheels. I'm getting new wheels. I'm dropping a vehicle off for more performance mods and I'm in the process of testing. But anyway, we recently just put this on the other day. You'll uh, get this video before this one. You'll get this video. Uh, so you're going to see this first. This is a graphene hybrid coating, which I think very much is more of a graphene sealant, the way I uh, would use it or think it's applicable for, for, you know, cars and stuff. We've used this already, and I think this product is fantastic, so I ended up obviously getting a gallon of it. This is a waterless wash and wax, and it's freaking awesome. So what I'm going to do is I have that product completely straight, no dilution, uh, into my IK sprayer. And we're going to use probably a, uh, a mother load of towels. So we're just going to go through and saturate the panels. I mean, pretty, pretty good saturation here. Uh, I don't care about product being wasted. I care about me getting the most out of the product and keeping my paint as safe as possible. It is under 20 degrees outside right now at the moment. There's no chance for me to be able to do a car wash, a typical car wash. So this is really all I have, and I don't want salt sitting on my car for any extended period of time. I also picked up a couple new things. We're gonna have lots of video content, especially with the Tahoe uh, nano skin pads, and, and there's a lot of cool things coming, but this is something we're gonna try too. This is a SiO2 infused glass cleaner, Americana Clarity. So what we're gonna do is uh, extremely simple here. Extremely simple, oh, these are, these are gonna be awesome videos too. We are gonna take a look at these two products and we're just gonna give it a go. Americana makes some pretty cool stuff. Uh, they got some pretty good wheel cleaner. And uh, the Ethos, obviously, I've been on an Ethos kick lately, but we're going to try this out. We're going to give this a go. We're going to clean the ever-loving heck out of the car, and then we're going to go over to Windows with this and see what we like, and see how it is, and see what it looks like. So, uh, just to give you a sneak peek. I did one little panel with the, uh, the DeFi. I sprayed it really good. And, um, no scratches, no marks. It looks fantastic, but it, you could really tell just how bad it is. 
it's pretty bad. So uh, let me get a fresh battery in this mofo. I'll give you a couple little sprays. I'll show you some wipey things and you'll see uh, the overall transformation. So stay tuned. Let's see what's going on. Okay guys, so here we are. We are about to tackle all of this and we're gonna use quite a bit of towels, but I will let you know, this is what we're gonna try. This is the Multi TR1, the new IK sprayer or new-ish. I'm not even gonna dedicate a full video. This is where you're gonna hear it from me. I am not a fan of this. This duck bill, whatever you wanna call this, it's not good. I think it's because it's just too thin here. It doesn't sit right. And it hurts. It, it actually, like the webbing of your hand, it actually doesn't feel right. I feel like it could slip through. I don't have, I mean, I guess, yes, you could squeeze this, but you know, what kind of, what kind of nonsense is that? For instance, let's talk about any other sprayer. Look at this. Look at the profile of this. Look at how wide this is. It sits amazing in your hand. Right here. Look at how wide that is. How far did that sticks out? And these are good bottles. I like these bottles. Same thing with the 303 bottles. It's got a good profile. You could basically balance it on there. And that's that's awesome. Uh, right here. These are the chemical resistance sprayers from Chemical Guys. Like you could basically, it even though it sits in there, you feel it in there. Like, you know, obviously it's not going to be pulling on it. I'm just letting it droop. But it doesn't hurt because it's the way it's designed. It's more of a wide situation there it's more of a wide setup so that it's not going to dig i don't know maybe it's just maybe it's just me maybe it's maybelline but we're going to give this um like i said a uh crazy good spray cuz i don't want to uh i don't want to deal with screwing up my panel And we're just going to take our fresh microfiber, and I like these. I'm going to try another one too, but we're just going to come in, and we're pulling up as we go. And there's really, like you can see where it starts catching there, right? So, not much here. So I usually slinky it down onto that part, and I uh, just do the little pulley technique. Now this thing's messed up. I'm going to go to the other side. I mean, as you can see, this product really does work. I haven't even buffed it yet. Uh, typically, when it comes to buffing off, also, I, um, I have it. I think it's a Draco or a Drago. Probably the Draco. Um, I use those towels, but you can use any towel that you like. And what I'll do is I'll do a light mist and buff off also, just to be extra sure. But I think as long as you're doing it this way, um, expect, like I said, to use quite a bit of towel. This is not one of those situations where you want to complain about laundry day. Definitely not. But as you go through, you start to see super clean paint, unscratched. There's really nothing on there. And you, you're in a better situation than you were 10 minutes ago. So like I said, just give it a little mist. Brand new towel. And now, now I don't feel bad buffing into my paint. What you want to make sure you be careful too is some people, they clean a door here, but then they accidentally go over. That door is still dirty. You gotta be careful that you're not gonna take your clean towel when you're doing a buff off and uh, go into the other side. The other thing is don't put a lot of pressure. You don't need a lot of pressure. The cool thing about this product is that it, uh, it flashes very nicely. So we've got a pretty cool situation here. And again, Go like that. Give it another spritzy duda. Yep. 
Even the mirror is glossy, baby. You can do the same thing for the window. Um, I'm gonna leave the windows because I wanna see how this SiO2 thing does will look. That's pretty, uh, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Let's move on. Let's, let's move on, guys. You know what I think the trick is when you're dealing with stuff like this is I'm gonna spray it until I can't tell that there was any salt there. Just, why not? I'm just gonna go through. Now I'm gonna try this out. A lot of you guys uh, recommend using these uh, edgeless, fluffy towels. Obviously they have a higher nap, so theoretically, they should catch more dirt. Um, I never really liked them because they do drag a little bit, but we're gonna give it a shot real quick. We'll try right here. We're gonna... See, we could see we got some. Flip that again. So, turn. Let's just see. I mean, it's doing what it's supposed to do here. This one definitely has a little bit more residue than the other. You need to do your best, make the effort. What's cool about these edgeless towels is you have a lot more working uh, area. So you can go in and flip as many times as you need to. Look at a dirt bomb. And then when you're done, you can just turn it completely inside out. Now you've got a whole other side. So you just flip it, and now you got a whole other side of four sides. So you got like eight sides. You can make eight swoopies. Swoopity. Swoopity dupes. I, I see the benefit. I see the benefit of doing like the creature edgeless. We'll see how that goes, right? So when just like that, the side's finished, obviously, except for the windows, which we're saving. But so far, we're about like six, six plus towels in. You can see tremendously cleaner, except for the windows. I mean, it's, uh, it's really, really good. It's really good. So we're going to keep on doing what we're doing. So, yeah. So we got a stack of used towels. The car's done. I always try to keep everything honest with you guys, okay? I, I had this filled here. This is where we were uh, starting from. That is 28 ounces. We are probably at 19 ounces. So not much, you know, nine ounces used. And again, I was on a very dirty vehicle spraying quite vigorously. <laughs> So, if that tells you anything about this product, um, you know, then so be it. What's this going to do? Is this sprayer going to actually work or no? Piece of shit sprayer. Okay, after some minor technical difficulties, the sprayer that was on this bottle uh, was a piece of poopies. Um, <clears throat> like I said... I try to stay completely transparent. Um, let's be honest, guys. I'm not Pan the Organizer or the Detail Geek or any of these like big name guys, uh, but I don't want to be, okay? They might do a better job in some people's opinions. Uh, me, I'm just here to do my job. I'm here to do an honest version of me, portray an honest version of me, give you guys my opinion, show you guys my results. One thing you have to realize, and I know some people shy away from YouTube for this reason, nobody is the same. You don't want to be like them. Don't copy their style. Don't copy their techniques. Don't try to mimic 
off of how they succeeded because you want to know what makes them different than you. It's them. It's their personality. It's their swing on things. It's their voice. It's their tone. It's the way they present stuff. It's how they reach conclusions. It's their techniques. Everybody's different. And you got to, like, if you're looking to do uh, YouTube, do it, bro. Just do it. Or sis, do it. <laughs> And just do it. Make your own channel. Start your own stuff. Start showing people what you do. There will always be, like, look at their comment sections. There's always somebody that says, oh, that's not the way you do it, or that's not the right product, or I don't use this, or I use it. Always somebody's going to talk crap. Always. That's life. You just have to, like, brush it off. No one is ever going to be 100% supportive of you. Nobody. Not even your parents, probably. So, you know, once you start to get past that, like, fear, you could really do some awesome stuff. People could say whatever they want, but my techniques work. My results are there. I have no problems. My so here we are into the glass portion. Shake well, avoid on a hot surface, blah, blah, blah. Spray a fine mist over the area, wipe off with a microfiber flip to a dry side and wipe any remaining products. Do not swallow. I mean, it should say do not drink, but do not swallow. So as you can see, you know what? Might be better off going on this window it's a little bit more of a demonstrative let's give it that much so you can tell we uh definitely did good with the product got a brand new let me just see what we got here i didn't even buff off yet that's pretty uh pretty impressive and very slick, very slick feeling, really? Okay, okay, hold on. <laughs> um, you know, usually when you see SiO2, you, uh, you, if you're me, you get giddy. Let's try two sprays, Let's see where two sprays gets us. Fresh side, we're just gonna go. Again, I'm barely putting any pressure. I'm just wiping. That's flipped. Guys, that's impressive. I, I don't know. You tell me what you think. I could tell you what I think, but I don't want to come across as biased. But do you see anything on that mirror? I mean, that glass? <laughs> Might as well be a mirror, right? Hello? Damn, girl. Damn, girl. So just for the sake of having this product on the windows, because I already cleaned this window, I know there's a lot of people out there that, you know, swear up and down, don't use glass cleaners, don't use this, don't use that, uh, just use detail sprays, and this detail spray will do the exact same thing, and they are partially right, but there's a reason these companies make products the way they do, marketed at certain people in certain situations and I can tell you right now this is actually one of the better if not the best glass cleaners I've ever used I mean I maybe I should do a whole video on this product all right guys that's the end of the video I have officially uh, fallen in love all over again with DeFi and now I think I just found my new favorite glass cleaner that's uh <laughs> that's awesome anyway Hopefully this video brought you some kind of enjoyment, some kind of entertainment, some kind of uh, something, I guess. Uh, I do it for fun. So if you are so kind, please leave a like. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. If you are an OCD OG, one of the OGs, thank you so much for your support. I truly appreciate it. Um, that's it, guys. That's all I got for you today. I'll see you guys in the next one. Be safe, everybody.